Welcome to the Eduonic series, WordPress Security and SEO. My name is Brad Travesy and I will be your instructor for this lesson. Uh, this is an introduction to part A, which will be all about security. Here's a quick rundown of what we'll be going over. We'll be talking about safety precautions and strategies, things like safe passwords and software updates. Uh, we'll also talk about WordPress admin area security to lock down our admin area, user access control, we'll use multiple WordPress plugins for various types of security aspects, uh, server and file security using HT access and other methods. We'll secure our media such as images and videos so that people can't steal them off our website and we'll also talk about how to actually protect text so people can't copy and paste your website text. So for safety precautions and strategies we'll talk about safety secure passwords, password algorithms, software updates, media, con media and content protection, secure FTP, and we'll discuss how to take a backup and restore that backup. So we'll start off installing WordPress, which will be a secure WordPress setup. We'll create a secure database uh, with the appropriate logins and prefix. Uh, secure installation, changing the, at the admin username. We'll set up our salt encryption keys. Uh, and then we'll do a secure configuration, which might involve moving the config file and protecting the admin folder. A .ht access file is a file that is used with Apache servers and some other servers and we can use it to do pretty much anything in terms of securing our content. Uh, we can restrict certain files and folders so that nobody can view them. We can make it so that only people with certain IPs can view them. We can prevent browsing in empty directories or directories without an index file. And we can also set up redirects. As I said, we'll be using quite a few different WordPress plugins. Uh, we'll be using Akismet, which is a, an extremely popular plugin which fights spam on your WordPress site, uh, especially in the comments section. We'll use uh, a plugin that will allow us to limit the amount of login attempts into the admin area. So if someone's trying to use brute force or some other method of, of getting in, uh, they won't be able to, to uh, try to log in more than a set amount of time. Uh, Two-factor authentication, which means that you, you would need two different methods to log in. One would be a username and password and another could be an email, a random email password or a mobile text. And we'll use one or two plugins that uh, have a lot of different security functionality that we can configure uh, just for overall protection. As I said, we'll protect our text so that users can't copy and paste. Uh, there's only so much protection you can do with text and images, but uh, for images, for instance, we'll, we'll disable the right-clicking and the Save As menu item. Uh, for videos, I'll show you how to use an HTML5 video plugin instead of posting on YouTube and then embedding in, onto your website. And we'll also learn about file protection. In addition to the .htaccess file, we'll set up um, some uh, directory password protection. So that's basically the gist of part A. Uh, we covered just about any WordPress security issue that you can think of. So without further ado, let's get started.